Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to make sweet and sour chicken. A uh, very easy Asian dish uh, which I admire a lot, I like the taste. So, for this uh, dish you will need chicken, uh, chicken fillet, cut uh, in uh, this huge large dices. How to debone the chicken, I have a video about how to debone the chicken on my channel, you can check it out. Uh, large dices of bell peppers, around 6 pieces depending on the size uh, large dices of uh, pineapple, I also have a video on my channel how to make, how to carve uh, a pineapple you'll need uh, cilantro but I can't, I couldn't find it here so uh, I use instead this nice uh, plant, uh, Philippine plant uh, instead, but if you have cilantro, use cilantro, it has much better flavor and uh, sweet and sour, sour sauce which I, which, whose recipe I also have on my channel, you can check it out, it's really simple to make uh, flour and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it let's start by uh, coating each piece of chicken with flour you'll need this uh, later to have nice and uh, crispy skin um, uh, crust on the chicken after frying it here it is uh, coat them each piece separately and put them on a, a dry plate. You can skip the step if you don't have time, but in this case your crust won't be so uh, so crispy, so maybe it's better to do this. Uh, now let's preheat the pan. High heat. Um, I used um, chicken fat. But I um, extracted it from this chicken skin and I'm gonna eat this chicken skin later because this is these are nice and uh, crispy chips but if you don't have uh, time for this uh, it's totally fine just use vegetable oil and you can actually add the knob of butter inside after it's hot uh, by mixing two oils you don't wanna add pure butter because uh, it will uh, have a really low smoking point by mixing vegetable oil and butter you increase uh, butter's uh, smoking point so it's not gonna burn as quickly so when you do this when you fry the chicken it's already hot because it's induction inductions are really fast to heat uh, when you cook chicken you just fry them from both sides and the secret to the chicken frying is to find the right moment to remove it so chicken has a has to be fried very fast within like one minute from both sides because if you over fry it it's gonna be dry and uh, not really juicy to lose all its juices so what you wanna do is to fry it from both sides each piece from both sides and then just remove it from the pan and put it in a separate bowl uh, don't overcrowd your pan because uh, it will start uh, um, producing water if you put too many pieces of chicken so you cook it for about um, 30 seconds you're gonna give them just a good color that's that's all you need you don't need to fully cook them even though some of them will be fully cooked so you look here not enough here probably it's already enough because it's the middle flip them the tweezers Flip each piece to give it color. And when it's done, when it's colored, just remove it from the pan in a separate metal bowl. No, it's not metal, depends on the material. So, and then you put the next batch and repeat for the rest of the chicken. If you have any scraps, you can just use a spatula to remove them. Provided that your pan is not is, is metal, not not stick. So that's what you get. This nice uh, crispy color. 
And this good one is brown because it has more flavor. So you really want to make this coat and this crust. And uh, if there are some burns, uh, you will have to, you can use your spatula to remove them. If you have a non-stick pan, uh, you won't have this problem. It's usually, it usually doesn't have this. And also, you may notice it splashes a lot, so it's because I'm using chicken fat. If you use uh, vegetable oil, it's not gonna splash that much. Again, if you don't like splashing, which none of us actually like does, you can use uh, vegetable oil. That's totally fine. I just like chicken fat because it uh, has more flavor. It has more chicken flavor at the end. So, so the chicken is ready. I cleaned up the pan a little with the spatula. Remove all the dark spots and then I'm frying bell peppers at middle temperature for around uh, 3 minutes until they're, they have color. Uh, keep stirring them from time to time. Uh, as you could notice, I added no salt. You don't need to add salt to the flour, to the chicken, because we're gonna use uh, the sauce, which has a lot of soy sauce inside, and it's salty enough to compensate for this. So just keep uh, keep everything unsalted till the end. It's been three minutes. The bell peppers are almost ready. Then you add pineapple. Add the leaves, chicken, and finally the sauce. Reduce the heat. Around 250-300 milliliters of the sweet and sour sauce. Then stir. The leaves are gonna reduce in, in volume. And increase the temperature a bit. So we need to finish the chicken because it's still raw in, on the inside. By cooking it in the sauce. Keep mixing it for about 2-3 minutes. Keep stirring it from the bottom because you don't want your sauce to be uh, to burn. You gotta keep stirring it. I added just a little bit of water. I can add a little bit more water, just like that, because the sauce is too thick, and we're reducing it also. So, but it's really important not to overcook it, because if you overcook it, the chicken won't be gentle, it won't be really soft, it, should, it will be stiff, you don't want to have that. So you cook it for about 3 minutes overall after adding all the ingredients together, and it will be done. It's really important to, after you finish, to put it in a cold uh, bowl right away. Uh, because if you keep it on the pan, even after reducing the heat, after turning the heat off, it's gonna keep cooking. It's gonna be cooked for a few more minutes on the remaining heat of the pan. So it's really important to, re to put it in the bowl uh, right away. It's been around 3 minutes and I think it's already done, it's ready. You can remove the heat from the heat and transfer, transfer it to the bowl, heat proof bowl, right away, just like that. And yes, that's it, really nice combination of colors, flavors. And uh, let me serve it. So there you have it. 
um, sweet and sour uh, sauce chicken very gentle I served it with block broccoli and uh, let me show you something so this is a big big piece of chicken just want to show you that it's fully ready it's a bit hot but as you can see it's totally white on the inside so at the same time it's fully cooked mm, it's extremely delicious I swear it's so good I really recommend doing this at home mm, that's really good I love this dish mm, thank you for watching that's it